Nano Banana is here and it killed Photoshop, Flux Context, Quen Edit, and the rest of the image editing models. This, my friend, is absolutely changing the game. I had early access to the full model in the past few days and I have been playing with it to find some extremely unique and interesting use cases that will have you blown away. In this video, I'll show you my findings and a few limitations. Let's jump right in. One of the biggest problems in the AI space right now is virtual try-on. So I wanna get this beautiful red dress here and put it on this model. To access Nano Banana, I'll head over to Enhancer AI, select Image Editing, and by default, you'll see this interface with Nano Banana selected. I will upload both of my images, so the dress and the model, and I will write a very simple prompt. Make the moment on the left wear the red dress on the right. Keep the dress's original design. Hit Generate. Boom. Wow. Look at this. So, so the, the dress is, is intact. It actually looks the same. It adapted to the model's body quite well, to be honest with you. To remind you, this is the original image that we use as, as a source reference. And Nano Banana literally generated her feet here that are not visible through the original frame. Though we can see that she has like 10 fingers if you look closely. But other than that, other than that, I'll give this a solid 9 out of 10. It looks quite good. Now, I will download this image and I'll upload this back in and ask Nano to have the model look straight at the camera, right? Because right now it's looking away. So I'm just gonna say the model is looking straight at the camera, generate, beautiful. As you can see, it, it just follows the prompt very well and now we have our model looking at the camera, but how about we turn this into an e-com studio picture with like a white background with a bright professional um, photography. And I'm going to say just that. Turn this into a professional white background e-commerce studio picture. Hit generate. This is what we get. Phenomenal. It's great. Like Adapted to the lighting perfectly. But the model is a bit too far away. So I'll ask it to zoom in closer so that the model is fully framed. Hit generate. Perfect. This looks good. So we went from this image to a full-blown e-commerce shoot. But how about we get a few more of the dress itself, right? Let's say that I wanted to put this online and I just wanted to have an, like images of the dress so people could scroll um, or zoom in or, or see in, in my Shopify or whatever platform that I'm using to, to sell my, my product. Um, I will upload again the dress alone here and ask it to give me a side view. So give me a side view. Boom. This looks great. Considering that that the Nano Banana doesn't even know what the dress looks like. Like it, it is keeping the, sh the, the shape of, of the dress the exact same. Now let's add a close up view. I'm just gonna say, give me a closer view of the same dress. Hit generate. Nice, it looks nice. But how about a closer one so that we can see the material better, right? When, our customers are scrolling through, they wanna see the fabric. So I'll ask it literally just that. I'm gonna say zoom in closer into the fabric. This is what we get. It's quite impressive. Like I have nothing to say. Literally, I have nothing to say. Uh, you can also change the color. This is the black version. This is the neon green version. And I asked it to add graphics with my Instagram handle, Hey Serio. So I just said, add a few graphics with the text, Hey Serio. And it did a very good job with the text. Look at this one. So this is a very quick glance at virtual try-ons. Now, another use case that most of you know about is generating different poses of the same model. Honestly, you can use this now to train your Laura. Here's my original image, and I asked it to give me a different angle of the model posing. Literally, this is the prompt, and boom, this is it. It, it keeps the character consistency intact. I asked her to have the model fix her hair as she was posing, to have the model take an iPhone-like selfie. And overall, it did a very good job. So there's no weird fingers over here. This works very well if you're trying to create a photo shoot uh, with your model. And again, this is very simple prompt engineering. It's like natural language is not even prompt engineering. You are literally telling the model what you want to see. Simple to the point.
An interesting use case I found is removing makeup. So I got this picture of Kylie and asked Nano to remove her makeup entirely. And this is what it came up with. It's good, but she still does look like she's wearing makeup. So let's try this other one of James Charles, which does have heavier makeup on his face. I said remove makeup and keep his face natural with no glow. Boom, it, it did a way better job here. This is very impressive. If I saw this, I would never, I would never believe that this was edited with AI in any way, shape, or form. But also, like, it's so accurate. It looks like James Charles. Okay, okay, okay. N now you're not ready for this. this. This is like, I uploaded an image of Elon and Sam and told Nano to have them kiss. This is what it did. <laughs> Yo, I cannot. Uh, not only that, but, but I had the astronomer CEO also kiss his HR girl. <laughs> Now they can frame this. Like, this is probably what happened in a parallel universe or what should have happened if uh, there were no cameras present. It's good, guys. It's good. But you are definitely not ready for this. This is my favorite part of this entire video. The things that you can do with this method is uh, like mind blowing. Graphic designers, get ready because this, this might take your job. We're talking about text. Nano Banana is phenomenal, phenomenal at editing text in literally any context. Look at this. So I asked it to change the text from open AI to closed AI, and it did it in 15 seconds. Literally, just put in your image and say, change the text to closed AI. <laughs> That's it. I also uploaded this graphic from Pinterest and asked it to change the text to Serio. What is this? Boom. Look at this. It's perfect. The left is the original, the right is the edited one. As well, this one over here, the prompt I use is edit the text in the frame to whatever text that I wanted to say. This works also perfectly with graphics and, and campaigns like Skims, Jacquemus, like any random t-shirt. Look at this one. You can now design your shirts with a simple reference image, like real life context. For example, I changed this newspaper to say, hey, Serio with the exact same prompt and keeps the font co consistent, coherent. Like this doesn't look like it's edited with AI, which is crazy to me. Text has to be one of my favorite use cases, but a bigger use case um, is perspective and fashion. So I got this picture of a guy and asked Nano Banana to rotate him 90 degrees to face a camera while preserving his identity. And this is what it came up with. Literally, it imagined what this guy looked like with a scary accuracy. This is a real picture I sourced from Pinterest. So if you see this, then please show us what you look like, because I think that this is what you should look like. This is crazy. Now watch this. This will blow your mind. I took this picture of another guy. I really liked his trip and told Nano Banana to isolate the outfit and place it on a clean white background for e-commerce display. Exclude the model, show only the outfit. This is what he did. Isn't this insane? Like, how about we do the opposite? Like, let's let's take this isolated outfit and ask it to assemble the outfit and put it on someone lifestyle image. So we're just adding it to create an image, like picture of someone wearing this outfit uh, out of what we have here. Hit generate. What the hell? Like, this is freaky. The products are extremely accurate. This took 15 seconds. Make it make sense. But wait, you think I'm done? This one is a passport picture, right? Let's clean this up. Boom. This is what I said. Give me a clear digital photograph of this passport picture. And this is what it gave me. How about this? Do you like, imagine you have any blurry pictures. It's fixed. Take a look at this one. I said, remove the motion blur and enhance the image sharpness. Make the woman appear clear, detailed, and in focus with no distortion. And this is what it gave me. This is a great fix from the original image. It's not necessarily extremely sharp. But it did a great job. I mean, I tried this problem multiple times. It wouldn't really sharpen the image entirely. I think this is good. I said, pop the bubble gum. There you go. And now probably your favorite part or use case is product replacement. Here is my source image. I wanted to replace this product with the prime bottle. And all I have to say again, I drop both of the images in my canvas in my editor. And I say, change the pink can with a green bottle and hit generate. You literally have to describe things just like that. It will understand. This is what we get. Is it perfect? Maybe, probably not. Like if you see the edges over here, it looks a bit weird, but honestly, this took 15 seconds. And here's another one. Left is original and right is the edit. Would you even be able to tell? And another one. 
there's other use cases like colorizing images, fixing old photos. It does very well at that. But this, my friend, is literally the future of editing. Again, the premise here is very simple. Upload an image or multiple. Think context. Maybe those images are interacting with one another. Type very simple directions and boom, it's done in 15 seconds. You don't have to overthink it. You can access Nano Banana now live inside Enhancer AI by heading over to Tools, Image Editor, and you will have it right there. Thanks for watching, friend, and let me know what you create with it. And remember that the real magic of AI is not what it can do for you, but how it empowers you to do what you always wanted to create without limits. This is Serio.